Alright, so these are elephant garlic scapes. I harvested my elephant garlic the other day, so I went through and chopped off the scapes. I uh, originally, I cut off a few of the scapes on some of them and left about, uh, I'm going to guess like six or so. Because I wanted to get some flowers on them and see what they looked like, and they're pretty. They smell pretty decent too. Smells like a, a good flowery smell, but has a little bit of an onion type of leek smell to it with it. Smells a whole lot better than other, like, allium flowers, I can say that much. And it doesn't have any bulbules in there like uh, normal garlic would have. Seems like the flowers are starting to bulk up a bit, so I think some of them got pollinated. Which is what I want to see. Just keeping them in some water. I'll change the water and cut the ends off every couple days. They are pretty, I can say that much. These would be a good crop for like small gardeners to just throw a couple in the raised bed every year and eat the leftovers and get the pretty flowers as well. I'm going to try to start making a lot more videos and see if I can get some subscribers and maybe do this more often. Maybe get a better camera down the road and we'll see what happens. I will do an update on the pawpaws soon and some gooseberries and some other stuff like that. I have grapes in the backyard. I built a trellis. Uh, what else do I have? I have some apples that I'm propagating. I have carnivorous plants, I have all sorts of projects that are related to gardening and botany. I'll show you the normal garlic scapes and what I have to do to process those to try to get some seeds. It's much more of a tedious pro uh, process because you have to pluck out all the bulbules. So yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to show you these flowers and yep, subscribe and comment.